Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 2. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Eth Shalomah his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and show yourself a man, and guard Eth the watch of Yahu Eloheka, to walk in his ways, to guard Eth, rather to guard his statutes and his commandments, and his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the Torah of Moshe, that you may prosper, Eth, in all that you do, and, Eth, whithersoever you turn yourself, that Yahuwah may continue, Eth, his word, which he spoke concerning me, saying, If your children take heed, Eth, to their way, to walk before me in truth, with all their heart and with all their soul. There shall not fail you, said he, a man on the throne of Yashadael. Moreover, you know eth also what Yaav the son of Seriah did to me, and what he did to the two captains of the hosts of Yashadael, unto Avner the son of Ner, and unto Amasa, the son of Yether, whom he slew, and shed the blood of war in peace, and put the blood of war upon his belt that was about his loins, and in his shoes that were on his feet. Do therefore according to your wisdom, and let not his gray head go down to Sheol in peace. But... Show kindness unto the sons of Barzillai, the Giladi, and let them be of those that eat at your table. For so they came to me when I fled, because of Avshalom, your brother. And behold, you have with you Shemi, the son of Gerah, a Binyamani of Bacharim, which cursed me with a grievous curse in the day when I went to Machanaim. But he came down to meet me at the Yardan, and I swore to him by Yahuwah, saying, I will not put you to death with the sword. Now therefore, hold him not guiltless, for you are a wise man, and know eth what you ought to do unto him. But eth his gray head bring you down to Sheol with blood. So David slept with his fathers and was buried in the city of David. And the days that David reigned over Yashadael were forty years. Seven years reigned he in Hebron, and thirty and three years reigned he in Yerushalayim. Then sat Shalomoth, upon the throne of David, his father, and his kingdom was established greatly. And Adonaiahu, the son of Shagith, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Shalomah, and she said, Come you peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. He said, Moreover, I have somewhat to say unto you. And she said, Say on. And he said, you know, Eth, that the kingdom was mine, and that all Yashadael set their faces on me, that I should reign. Howbeit the kingdom is turned about, and has become my brother's, for it was his from Yahuwah. And now I ask one petition of you, Eth, deny me not. And she said unto him, Say on. And he said, Speak, I pray you, unto Shalomah the king. For he eth will not say nay, that he gave me eth Avishag, the Shanunamith, to be my woman. Rather, that he give me eth Avishag, the Shanu, rather, the Shana Mith, to be my woman. And Bathsheba said, Well, I speak for you unto the king. Bathsheba therefore went unto King Shalomah to speak unto him for Adonaiahu. And the king rose up to meet her and bowed himself unto her. 
and sat down on his throne and caused a seat to be set for the king's mother, and she sat on his right hand. Then she said, I desire one small petition of you. I pray you, say eth me not nay. And the king said unto her, Ask on, my mother, for I will not eth say nay. And she said, Let eth Avishag, the Shunamith, be given to Adonayahu, your brother, to be his woman. And King Shalomah answered and said unto his mother, And why do you ask Eth Avishag the Shunamith for Adonayahu? Ask for him Eth the kingdom also? For he is my elder brother, even for him, and for Aviathar the priest, and for Yoav the son of Saruyah. Then King Shalomah swore by Yahuwah, saying, Elohim do so to me and more, if Adonayahu have not spoken eth this word against his own life. Now therefore, as Yahuwah lives, which has established me, and set me on the throne of David my father, and who has made me a house, as he promised, Adonayahu shall be put to death this day. And King Shalomah sent by the hand of Benayahu, the son of Yahuyada, and he fell upon him that he died. And unto Aviathar the priest said the king, Get you to Anathoth unto your own fields, for you are worthy of death. But I will not at this time put you to death, because you bore at the ark of Adonayahu, before David, my father, and because you have been afflicted in all wherein my father was afflicted. So Shalomah thrust out Eth Aviathar from being priest unto Yahuwah, and that he might Eth fulfill the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke concerning the house of Eli in Shiloh. Then tidings came to Yoav, for Yoav had turned after Adonayahu, though he turned not after Avshalom. And Yoav fled unto the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and caught hold on the horns of the altar. And it was told King Shalomah that Yoav was fled unto the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and behold, he is by the altar. Then Shalomah sent Eth Benayahu, the son of Yahuyada, saying, Go, fall upon him. And Benayahu came to the tabernacle of Yahuwah, and said unto him, Thus says the king, Come forth. And he said, Nay, but I will die here. And Benayahu brought Eth the king word again, saying, Thus said Yoav, and thus he answered me. And the king said unto him, Do as he has said, and fall upon him, and bury him, that you may take away the innocent blood which Yoav shed from me and from the house of my father. And Yahuwah shall return at his blood upon his own head, who fell upon two men more righteous and better than he, and slew them with the sword, my father David not knowing thereof, to wit, Eth Avner, the son of Ner, captain of the host of Yashadael, and Eth Amasa, the son of Yether, captain of the host of Yahuda. Their blood shall therefore return upon the head of Yoav, and upon the head of his seed forever. But upon David, and upon his seed, and upon his house, and upon his throne, shall there be peace forever from Yahuwah. So Benayahu, the son of Yahuyada, went up and fell upon him and slew him. And he was buried in his own house in the wilderness.
And the king put Eth ben Eyahu, the son of Yahuyada, in his room over the host. And Eth Sedok, the priest, did the king put in the room of Aviathar. And the king sent and called for Shemi, and said unto him, Build you a house in Yerushalayim, and dwell there, and go not forth thence any whither. For it shall be that on the day you go out, and pass over at the brook Kidron, you shall know for certain that you shall surely die. Your blood shall be upon your own head. And Shami said unto the king, The saying is good. As my lord the king has said, so will your servant do. And Shami dwelt in Yahushalayim many days. And it came to pass, at the end of three years, that two of the servants of Shemi ran away unto Akish, son of Ma'aka, king of Gath. And they told Shemi, saying, Behold, your servants be in Gath. And Shemi arose and saddled at his ass and went to Gath to Akish to seek at his servants. And Shemi went and brought Eth his servants from Gath. And it was told Shalomah that Shemi had gone from Yerushalayim to Gath, and was come again. And the king sent and called for Shemi, and said unto him, Did I not make you to swear by Yahuwah? And protested unto you, saying, No, for a certain, on the day you go out, and walk abroad any whither, that you shall surely die? And you said unto me, The word that I have heard is good. Why then have you not guarded at the oath of Yahuwah and at the commandment that I have charged you with? The king said moreover to Shemi, You know at all the wickedness which your heart is privy to, that you did to David my father. Therefore Yahuwah shall return your wickedness upon your own head, and King Shalomah shall be blessed, and the throne of David shall be established before Yahuwah forever. So the king commanded Eth ben Eyahu, the son of Yahuyada, which went out and fell upon him, that he died. And the kingdom was established in the hand of Shalomah.